guys, what's up? So today we're gonna take a look at the Feiyu Tech G5, one of my favorite action gimbals at the moment. Uh, what sets this one apart is that it's splash proof. So you can bring it out by the water, in the rain, and you won't damage it. Um, it's super comfortable, really great stabilization with the motors, and I'm just gonna walk you through some of the features. Okay, so right away you'll notice that the G5 has this rubberized uh, design, so it's splash proof. If you pair it with something like the GoPro Hero 5, shooting in the rain or by a body of water uh, is fine. Um, over here you'll notice the um, user interface. So I'm going to hold down the middle button to turn it on. And there you go, it's activated. Uh, so the default mode um, is actually the panning mode. So tilting and rolling are fixed, uh, but the camera lens moves according to the hand movement of the user. Um, if I double tap it, you go into uh, panning and tilting mode. So you'll notice it pans and tilts to my, uh, to my movements, right? Um, and then the next mode is the 180 mode. So this is kind of like the selfie mode. So if you triple tap it, it does this 180 uh, and you could shoot yourself. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so I triple tap it again and it'll, yep, so it'll go back. So next we'll take a look at the handle. So the handle over here, uh, this is where the battery goes in. So this kind of unscrews and then the battery pops in like so. Um, over here, you'll notice little rubber cover here and this is the um, micro USB port. This is for firmware updates or to charge charge the battery. The joystick is here, this big button. Um, so this is for controlling pan and tilt. So you'll see how I could control it and it's really smooth. It's a it's a nice speed, whatever this is uh, programmed to be. Um, and right over here is the LED indicator. And you'll notice that I have this attached to a Polar Pro tripler. So the bottom actually has a quarter 20 um, screw. So as you guys know, I typically use my action gimbals mounted to a uh, painter's pole. So when I'm shooting high speed electric skateboarding shots, uh, I need something that can really um, just kind of hold its stabilization, especially when I'm going you know, at speeds of like 25, 30 miles per hour. Um, and it's not, it's not easy for a lot of these small gimbals to kind of hold its uh, stabilization. But Feiyutech uh, has really done a great job with the motors here. Um, some other gimbals that I've used often lose their orientation. Like when I'm doing like really high maneuvers or I'm like kind of moving around like a subject um, and it just kind of loses the balance, right? But the Feiyutech kind of holds it. It's just, you, you, you can see that it, um, it just responds. It has a really quick response speed. So it keeps up with some of the maneuvers that I try to do, some of the interesting angles, you know, um, that I try to pull off. Most people who are looking for an action gimbal are not really starting from scratch. And so they at least have several GoPros, um, of various generations in their kit. Uh, if you want to compare it to something like the DJI Osmo, it's more expensive, um, but it features its own camera. So uh, to me, that's kind of a hit or miss, uh, depending on how much you like DJI's camera technology. For action gimbals, I prefer to kind of have my own my own um, options. So what's great about the Feiyu Tech is that you can, this is compatible with just about every 
popular action camera that's on the market. Um, so that's a really good thing. I like to kind of have these things separate. So that's why I would, you know, honestly choose something like this over an Osmo. So another cool thing about the Feiyu Tech is that it comes with this carrying case, um, kind of like a ne neoprene uh, waterproof uh, carrying case. And it's just really, you know, simple, but well-designed. It has a keychain kind of hook right here. Um, yeah, and it's a nice little touch. This can go into, you know, your bag or whatever, and um, you could take it on the go. Uh, another thing, if, um, if you have a heavier camera, it comes with this uh, additional counterweight. I just have to unscrew here this piece and you'll notice the uh, the size difference of the counterweights so this is the uh, this is the heavier one for heavier cameras and it just kind of screws in like so so as you see uh, that's way too heavy for for the hero 4 but um, you know there's some cameras that are a little bit heavier and having the option to change the weights is kind of cool so the Feiyutech G5 uh, is very similar to my review of the SPG Plus. It's really well designed, it's polished, and it's super responsive. I think a lot of the same technology is probably incorporated in here, but whatever motors you're using is really, really good. Um, I think Feiyutech is stepping up their game. I think they're going after maybe DJI's Osmo market, which is cool. Um, you know, it gives us more options to, to film with. So I look forward to what they what they have in their lineup next. If you have any questions or comments about the Feiyu Tech G5, hit me on the blog, runplayback.com.